Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and today we're going to make this card. Um, it is using products from MFT and Paper Tray Ink. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with the card base. I have a true black piece of cardstock and Paper Tray Ink. It's cut at 4 and a quarter by 11. I'm just going to fold it in half so it's a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half card. Now I have these frames on here, and this is cut using the Deco cover plate from Paper Tray Ink. Um, and what I did was I ran it through my mink machine using gold foil, and I already did that today just to save a little bit of time. So I took the out the outer frame. There's another frame that goes in here. I took that out. I use it on a different card. You'll see that in a different card when I make that video. Um, and then I use the inside most layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these down. I'm gonna turn it to this side. We're going to put these down just so that we can see where we're going to stamp. And I'm going to take my, my little paper piercer mat thing and I'm going to line these up just so I know where my stamp's going to go. I can get a good placement for it. Okay. Move this with my finger. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. So really quickly I'm going to take this and just kind of rub it on here. I don't want to put too much on there because it's hard to get the white off the black cardstock. Should have done that before. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to take the sentiment from MFT Encouraging Words. I'm going to use the thanks for being there. And I'm going to stamp it in the Encore Gold Ink. I'm just going to stamp that right at the top of my frame. Okay, I'm going to take my frames away. I'm going to bring in some gold embossing powder from Stampin' Up. Knock that off. Get the little pieces here that don't belong. Okay. Let's funnel that back into the jar and put it away. Okay, then I'm going to take my heat tool. I'm going to let it heat up off camera real quick. So I'm thinking that I may get a new heat tool at some point because mine takes forever to heat up. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and bring the frames back in and I'm just going to glue those down. I'm going to pull some scratch paper from somewhere, maybe, I just don't want to get glue all over my surface. I'm just going to use this here. I'm just going to use my um, two-way glue pen to put glue all around the frame. Okay, now I'm back to the beginning. So I'm going to pull my card back in. And I'm just going to line that up on my card. Centering it. And I'm 
I'm just gonna turn my card over and kind of push it down, make sure it stays. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the inside layer. And I'm gonna put the two-way glue pen on the back of that. Probably shouldn't do this on my mat because I'm getting glue on my mat, but I forgot to put scratch paper out, so. And then I'm going to go ahead and just line this up inside the other frame. I really like that pop of gold against the black. I think it looks really pretty. And again, just going to rub it down. Okay, now the next step to put on is the flowers. So I showed you how to color these flowers in a different video. Um, I use my Zig, um, what are they called? clean color real brush markers to make those and I cut them out after the video with the MFT scribble roses die so I use the big one and the little one and the medium one and then I use this set of leaves right here and then I took <coughs> the MFT scribble roses overlay and I cut out each one of each of those in white and I'm gonna take the um, the roses and the overlays I'm going to put them on the roses. I have a little bit of a hard time lining this up so forgive me. So I'm just using my two-way glue pen. Just kind of rubbing it on here. I don't really care. Oh, and it went flying and so I lost its position. Now I had it lined up. <laughs> I'm going to take and flip that over and push it down. There's that one. And then here's the red flower that we colored. I'm just going to try and line that up before I put the glue on it. Okay. Bring that up, put it on, flip it over and just press it down. And then the last little orange one that we made. what it is but I have a hard time lining those up for some reason okay so there's our three flowers I'll pull the card back in now I'm gonna put dimensional on the back of these two flowers so the big one and the medium one and I'm going to put the big one down here in the corner Leave a little space for my leaves. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and then the red one over here popped up. And now this little one. I'm gonna put tape runner on the back of. And I'm going to tuck it in down here. So you guys know that I love flowers. So the next several card videos that I have meant to film for you are all flowers. I just love flowers, apparently. So um, I cut out way too many leaves here. I had some extra from before. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick some um, to put in my card. I'm going to use this one. 
this one. This big guy. And then these two little ones. And then the other ones I'll set aside for another project. And I'm going to put tape runner on the back of all of these. These little ones are going to go up here under this orange rose. Okay, that one that one leaves really dark, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put this big leaf over here in this corner and then I'm going to do these last two leaves down here I kind of took them underneath my dimensional there And I should do the flowers, the leaves first, but I always like to put my my top flower down first, just so I can layer everything else around it. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna add some sequins. This is just um, one of those, just like a set of eight sequins that I got on Blitzy, and we're gonna use three gold ones. I'm going to put one up here, just using glossy accents. I'm going to put um, one down here, and then just one over here, so there's three. that one and there's that one now to finish off the front of the card I'm not sh quite sure where I put them oh here they are. I have some um, white pearls they're from my pink not my they're from my style stamps that I colored with the gold leafing pen from Krylon I got this a long time ago and I just found it I wanted gold pearls and didn't have gold pearls because I wanted them to match so um I colored those pearls with my pen and they've been drying for a while overnight and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in the middle of my flowers so that there is a little gold bling in the middle of all my flowers that's the front of the card now real quickly we're gonna do the inside <clears throat> We are going to be using a sentiment from Paper Tray Inks Meadow Greens. We're going to do the Your Kindness Means So Much More Than You'll Ever Know. That's my go-to inside sentiment for thank you cards um, because it's really a nice one. So we're going to ink it up again with the Encore Metallic Gold. And I'm going to try and line this up so it's straight okay. and that looks pretty good so I'm gonna put this aside some adhesive on the back of that put it on the inside of our card And that's cut at four by five and a quarter, by the way. And there you have it. So there's the front of our card using the beautiful mink foiling, um, the zig brush markers, and the new MFT scribbled roses dies and overlays. So there's that one. Here's the original. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you again for another video real soon. Bye!